Hey YouTube, what is going on? And welcome back to tutorial number 14. And in this tutorial, I just want to show you guys how to change the background color of your website. And it's actually really easy, so let's just go ahead and get started. But before we start, I just want you to uh, guys, I just want you guys to see that I have changed or taken everything out of my body. So we are working with a blank web page. There's nothing that's going to display on our web page at the moment. And also there's no CSS, so we haven't styled anything on our web page, but that's because it's blank. And uh, that's okay because we can actually style our blank web page for the background color. So just go over to your style sheet. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking now like, okay, well, if we want to style something on our web page like a background color, don't we need to select something on our web page? But I just showed you guys that there's nothing here to select. And uh, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a hint. What you want to do is you want to change the whole background color of the body of our whole web page. So why don't we just go ahead and select the body which is actually a valid selector. And uh, then what you can do is just open up your curly braces. And now um, you just want to choose the property which you want to change, which we've already established is our background. And uh, you can actually use two different properties to change the background color of our website. You can use normal background or you can use background hyphen color. And after that, what you have to do is you have to set this equal to a value of any color that you want to choose, like blue and semicolon, and you can save that. And if we go ahead and run our HTML document in Firefox, you get a nice blue background. Look at that. How beautiful is that? But I know some of you guys are probably thinking like, okay, I'm overusing all these standard CSS colors. They're so boring. I mean, all you've got is like blue, black, green, red, yellow. Uh, what if we wanted to get a little bit more creative with our design and use um, much better, much nicer, much prettier colors? So I'm just going to show you guys how I choose a prettier or a better color. And what I usually do is I just open up GIMP. And over here where I can choose my colors, I just go ahead and I play around in this color box and uh, I get my number from this HTML notation box over here. So all white in uh, this is actually called a hexadecimal color by the way. And uh, all white is six F's and all black is six zeros. And then all the other numbers that you get are something in between. Some of them actually have letters. So I'd, I'd, they're not really a hexadecimal number as much as they are a hexadecimal code. But uh, anyways, now what you do is you just go ahead and grab this hexadecimal color over here. And I'll just copy this and uh, I go back to HTML or CSS. And I'll just paste my color in over here. But in order to use a hexadecimal color in CSS, you can't just go ahead and type the color just like this because this isn't going to work. Um, what happens is if I go to my web page now and I refresh, I'm just going to get a white page. And that's because if you want to use a hexadecimal color in HTML, you have to use the hash symbol before your hexadecimal color. So if you're a Twitter junkie, basically just remember hashtag color and uh, you're sorted. So now when we go ahead and refresh this, you get a nice like light blue for your web page. So if you guys just wanted to know how to get a little bit more creative with colors, you know, there you go. And uh, that's actually all I've got for you guys in this tutorial. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button. And also, don't be afraid to comment, like, or share my videos. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thanks very much, and I'll see you guys next time.